we left last time, we got all of our supplies kind of stacked up here. I'm not sure if we're going to use it all. I'm not sure if we're going to run out. But regardless, we have our beacon. We have a massive circle. And we're going to basically just build that, but bigger. And right, I'm going to keep just blackstone for the first couple layers. As you can see over here, we kind of faded into deep slate. But I mostly started with blackstone. I will try to keep it kind of layer consistent, but we'll see how it goes. We have one more stack of this. Hopefully I have more. I don't want to go get more in the nether already. Uh, no. Sorry, sir. <laughs> you can't come in here. This is my place. I think we should we should not let him in. Look at them. Look at how many there are. Why are there so many zombies? Like, I'm not complaining because skellies would shoot me off of this immediately, but why just... Why just zombies and like a single creeper? They just like me. They are a little annoying in the, in the loudness section, but you know. How far up are we? I think, yeah, I think around here is when I start sprinkling in the deep slate. So we'll do this layer of blackstone and then do our little, our little mouse scrolling trick to make it a little odd looking. Cause I am bad at making things look unnatural. I will do geometric things perfectly, but I will do like fades like this. I will do horribly unless I do something fancy. Oh, I'm out of blackstone, aren't I? Yeah, this is it. This is it. Okay, well, this is gonna be maybe awful. I absolutely love this trick because it makes it look like I know how to build with a gradient. <laughs> you just put the the ratio you want in your hotbar and then scroll. I'm running dangerously low on blackstone. I might have to go and grab another couple stacks real quick before we keep going. I think that's about as good as we can do here before we get some more. So I'm gonna need to go get more. Put our deep slate back. Oh, no, no, no. I did not see him. We're gonna yeet ourselves straight out of there because I don't wanna deal with that. All right, let's just make sure real quick that I don't have any in my house because I very much may have some in my house. It's all deep slate. It is all deep slate. I think we're gonna have to go to the nether real quick. There's a small chance I'm gonna fall in lava because I hate traversing the basalt deltas. The bath salts will kill me every time. There's a wall over here with blackstone and I'm just gonna dig straight into it. I'm only getting nine stacks and I did not think it was necessary to bring my only beacon into the nether. So we're gonna deal with it and then just fly away and and we're gonna be happy healthy collected calm cool i really need to do a i transformed the nether video but i keep putting it off to make towers and farms and now i can't find where my portal is this looks right maybe yes awesome perfect amazing beautiful me all right let's grab our deep slate that looks good enough to me that's about how i'm gauging this right now and i guess we only had two let's do four let's do four stacks in our inventory this time and then the rest can be blackstone excuse you why are you down there oh i forgot i had wings on corn ball gray dye sand cherry sapling these are all awful trades i am so sorry i'm sorry to do this Hey, we're gonna keep just a teensy tiny bit of blackstone in our inventory. We're just gonna do one stack for the next row and then the rest. You know what? That's probably good, actually. We'll just we'll leave it at that and then sprinkle in some of the bricks. This next row, I will be needing some regular old fashioned, uh, what's it called? Bricks. Some stone bricks, not deep slate. This is actually a kind of a good use of my stone because I have a lot of just regular old stone and I would love to have some more space for it. So when I go mining, I just, I don't just throw it away. That is that. And now we are on to just regular old plain, old fashioned, honest to God stone. Wait, hold up. We had an entire chest of blackstone that I was unaware of. I swear to God, that took me like an extra 20 minutes that I didn't want to spend doing today. Oh my God. I swear I opened that chest. I must've opened this one twice, but I thought I had checked all of them. It's all deep slate. It is all deep slate. Goodness me, I am losing my marbles. We are going to figure out how tall this one is so that we can double it. Cause I pretty much doubled the width and I think it would look weird if we don't do something more with the height. So we are at 136. And if we come down to the bottom where we might die, 71. So 136 minus 71. I will have to do that math once I land. So we're going up to Y201. 
This is gonna be the beautifulest tower. This is gonna be the most beautiful tower in the world. I just ran out of stone. I've used all of the stone in my inventory and look at how tall it is now. Oh, that's gonna look so nice when we're done with it. We're gonna run out of so much stone with this, but that is okay because I have like six double chests at least just of stone. Oh my goodness, we ran out of blocks again. That's the second time. I'm gonna bring a shulker box up there with me. I need to calculate exactly how many more I need because this is gonna be insane. Look at it already. That thing is massive. Nope, nope, get down, get down, go away. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why you don't mess with me up on a ledge like this. It's funny because I enjoy building more futuristic, but I guess I have kind of leaned into the medieval style in this world with my absolutely gigantic tower here with that with the dark blocks and the stone. We have gone through like three inventory fulls of stone so far, which is insane for me. I don't usually do massive builds like this. This is probably the first, I guess, quote, mega build that I've done, and it's literally just shoving a bunch of stone down. I don't know if it's even gonna look amazing, but it's gonna look like something. And we are out of stone again, and I forgot to check what Y level we were on, but I'm pretty sure another inventory full, another inventory and a shulker box full, maybe will do us. I might have to do something with this because it kind of looks very plain as it does right now and also a little bit dumb. Does this look dumb? Hang on. Hang on. Stepping back from it. I mean it's massive but does it look stupid? I'm not sure. I feel like it's maybe getting a little too tall. All right I'm thinking we cut it like here instead of going up to 201 we cut it like I'll put a block like there. All right, I'm gonna cut it down to there and hope that it, it looks all right. At least I have haste too. This is why I have haste too. All right, let's tear it down. Tear it down to the, the I don't, I don't know what that is, but whatever that is. I believe. Hang on, it's a thunderstorm. And you know what that means. Oh, this is gonna be crazy. This is gonna be crazy. I'm pretty sure I have a channeling trident. Somewhere. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. All right. Um. Oh, we need boats. Oh, we got this. Come on, come on. Let's go capture some creepies. Let's go capture some creepies. We're gonna get some heads. We're gonna get some heads. Oh. All right. Creepy boys, where are you? Ah ha. Oh yes. All right. Now I should have brought a flint and steel. All right, we got them. Oh, no, 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 no. Come here. I didn't mean to pop that. Did not mean to pop that. It's fine. We can just grab another. You know, I've never actually encountered a charged creeper in this game, and I did not know that they hit that hard. Look at the holy left. I mean, we got a zombie head. That's something, right? All right, I know I have a flint and steel somewhere. We're just gonna use that. So they can explode without me being directly next to them. Totem and offhand shield in main. Shields are for nerves though. I'm gonna use flint and steel like a real champ. Oh, this is so much fun. I love this so much. All right, where is something to explode? Ooh, a witch? Okay, a witch head. That's gotta be big, that's gotta be big. Okay, so we need to get rid of the zombie because the the charge creeper only lets one mob drop its head. We also need to get rid of this guy because he's just annoying. Okay, now you, you sir, need to follow me. Don't die, don't die, don't die, okay. We're doing good, you can poison me all you want, I really don't care. He is now in the boat with him. Once I stop taking damage and I can get rid of these guys, I will go and light him off. Okay. Let's do this. Oh, wait. There's a creeper head. Did I? Oh, he didn't die. Why did he not die? Okay. Well, we got a creeper head. I honestly thought there was a separate charged creeper head, but I guess not. Wait, witches don't give heads? So no head? Okay, well, you know what, that's fine. We're just figuring out exactly how much I know about this game. And I'm gonna give you all a hint. It's, it, it's not much. <laughs> so, we have three left. Maybe I could get a skelly head? If I just kinda lure, 
chill if I lure him over here. Don't shoot the creeper, just come here. All right, there we go. Now I need you to light off. Okay, putting them in the same boat is not the strat. That is not apparently how you kill anything. So that's good to know. That's good to know. All right, I'm gonna need this guy to not, he's not in there. I'm gonna need this guy to not be in a boat because I need the boat. Can I split these guys off and get one in a boat? Okay, now I need the other one to explode in front of this guy, preferably without destroying the other boat or anything like that. So let's bring him over here. This would be a lot easier if I like d dug a trench or something, but that's boring, so. So we're just gonna do it that way. It's more fun. Hey, I did not lose the world, okay? <laughs> we got the skeleton with the cost of a totem, but that's okay. It's okay. I'm tempting fate. You have not begun to see me tempt fate. This is just playing. This is just playing with charged creepers. This is a toy for the weekends. This is, this is easy mode. I'm scaring you. I'm scaring you. Deal with it. Your fears are justified. Let's be honest. All right. Now you, you buddy, you buddy boy, buddy boy. Um, I kind of want an Enderman skull, but it seems like that would be kind of difficult to do with this guy. What if we bring him maybe closer to the house so he's a little bit easier to get? I'm gonna lure him up toward the house. Good thing we actually have a staircase now, right? Right? No, 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 no. Don't shoot him. Do not shoot him. Jerk. All right, you are gonna go in a hole in a boat. So I'm gonna need you to stay there for now so I don't die. All right, we're going to put that down there. Make a nice little stairway here so he thinks he can follow me. And then, come on, come on. Come down in the hole. Come down, no, 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 no. Excuse you? Dude just went over the boat and didn't get in. Just get back in the boat. Just get back in the boat, you disgusting creature. I'm gonna hope that this is the right way to do this. Just create a trench. Come on, come on. Thank you. Now, can I build this up without you exploding on me? Okay, okay. And then next time we find a, uh, Endy, Endy boy, wherever they may be, we're gonna capture him in a boat next to this guy get him in there, and get his head. We have three new skulls, simply because we can. We now have a totem pole in the middle of our basement. <laughs> Back up to the tower. Let's try to make this not look dumb, all right? That is our goal. I mean, hey, we got three heads. We only lost two totems. That's a win for me. My overall plan for this area is to have a couple more towers around the shoreline. And although this will probably be the largest of them, the other ones will all be varying sizes. And I might change up the shape on a few of them as well, just to kind of break up the pattern a bit. After this tower's finished though, I'll probably take a break from this area to fix up the nether or the end for a bit. And also to get some more resources because this tower specifically is taking up a lot of blocks. As for the inside of this tower, I'm not totally sure what I'm gonna do. I thought it could be used as a storage area and maybe I could have a super smelter somewhere in it as well. Maybe running underground so I can just throw a bunch of blocks down there and they pop back up in my storage system somewhere. Regardless, I do love how this tower is starting to come together and give the area a little more to look at other than my little house on a hill and the farms and an entrance tower. So that should be potentially where I want this. Let's see. I'm gonna rip off just a little bit more of this. Whoa, holy. He was invisible. You guys saw that, right? He was invisible. Dude. He's back. What is this? Invisible spider knight? What? Why? He's not invisible. He's normal. So why are they here? Why are they like that? Oh, Andy. Andy, Andy, Andy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Holy no, 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 no. Get in the boat! Why are you not getting in the boat? Oh no! Oh no! Oh! <laughs> My heart. My heart can barely take it. Bad. This is gonna be very... I, I don't know if this is gonna work, to be completely honest, so we'll see. Because he might just try to murder me. By the way, Endermen do drop heads, right? Or am I doing this for no reason? Did someone say they don't? Uh... Well, you know what? It was a valiant effort. There you go, buddy. As we were doing, um, dark oak, dark oak, question mark, 
Question mark? We're gonna go two out from every block. That is what we are going to do today. All right, we're going to take a step back here and make sure this looks good once we finish the next layer. I think this is turning out decent. I might make a few changes to the layers, but in general, this looks all right to me. Okay, I like it. I think that's, that's going well. I think we need a little, um, little more height, so let's add a slab to all of these. Let's see what that looks like. It might look like trash. I like it. I think that's good, except maybe this. This could maybe go away, all right? And then we'll do that on each side, which is going to be tedious and kind of awful, but that's okay. And then the, the edges, I'm going to kind of droop down, I think, but that's going to be maybe later. Bro. You have a flame bow? Get out of here. Yeah, I'm going to put buttons up here. I don't know how exactly to make him a pointy boy because it is a two by two. Use stairs. Okay, that's fair. I see what you're saying. Let's try that. See if that looks all right. One more block below the stairs. Seems like a good idea too. Noom. Give it a little bit more height here. Fly away more so I don't look at it directly from above. I mean, that's all right. I feel like I liked it better the other way. But if you guys think that that looks good, then I will stick with it. All right, the consensus is in. It is beautiful. 